Blessings, honor, and glory and power be to him that sitteth upon the throne and to the Lamb for ever and ever. Now, just as the gates were open to let in the men, I looked in after them, and behold, the city shone like the sun. The streets also were paved with gold, and in them walked many men with crowns in their head, on their heads, palms in their hands, and golden harps to sing praises withal. There were also of them that had wings, and they answered one another without intermission, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. And after that they shut up the gates, which, when I had seen, I wished myself among them. Now while I was gazing upon all these things, I turned my head to look back and saw, ignorance coming up to the riverside. But he soon got over, and that without half the difficulty which the other two men met with. For it happened that there was then at that place one vain hope, a ferryman that with his boat helped him over. So he, as the other I saw, did ascend the hill to come up to the gate. Only he came alone. Neither did any man meet him with the least encouragement. When he was come up to the gate, he looked up to the writing that was above, and then began to knock, supposing that entrance should have been quickly administered to him. But he was asked by the men that looked over the top of the gate, Whence came you? And what would you have? He answered, I have eat and drank in the presence of the king, and he is taught in our streets. Then they asked him for his certificate, that they might go in and show it to the king. So he stumbled in his bosom for one and found none. Then said they, Have you none? But the man answered never a word. So they told the king, but he would not come down to see him, but commanded the two shining ones that conducted Christian and hopeful to the city to go out and take ignorance and bind him hand and foot and have him away. Then they took him up and carried him through the air to the door that I saw on the side of the hill, and put him in there. Then I saw that there was a way to hell, even from the gates of heaven, as well as from the city of destruction. So I awoke, and behold, it was a dream. The Conclusion Now, reader, I have told my dream to thee. See if thou canst interpret it to me, or to thyself or neighbor, but take heed of misinterpreting for that instead of doing good will but thyself abuse. By misinterpreting evil ensues. Take heed also that thou be not extreme in playing with the outside of my dream. Not let my figure or similitude put thee into a laughter or a feud. Leave this for boys and fools, but as for thee, do thou the substance of my matter see. Put by the Christian, put by the curtains, look within my veil, turn up my metaphors and do not fail. There if thou seekest them such things thou'lt find, as will be helpful to an honest mind. What of my dross thou findest there, be bold, to throw away but yet preserve the gold. What if my gold be wrapped up in ore? None throw away the apple for the core. But if thou shalt cast all away is vain, I know not but twill make me dream again. The end of the first part. We will pick up... Uh, with the second part in the next video. It's a short one today.